Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl Tuba. TM, welcome on my channel. So, we are going to do pick a card reading all about your person, okay? Their current feelings for you, their intentions, what are they thinking, what are they feeling, what are they planning, and what are they hiding from you, all about your person, okay? So, keep an open mind. This is a general reading, but you can book a personal reading. Um, you can reach out to me for personal reading through my email address. You can also please follow me on Instagram and TikTok for daily updates. I'm definitely working hard there too. Um, I'm going to use uh, the charms because you guys just love it. I'm also going to use my handmade messages like channel messages, love messages from your person or from their higher self. Like basically, what do you want to know? I'm also going to use Into It Oracle's audition. Uh, they recently sent me the gift, so I'm definitely going to use it in this um, pick a card reading for each pile. I'm also going to use this Intuit Oracle's Twin Flame cards. Okay, I'm going to put the link of this Oracle's card, a uh, special link for a discount that you can buy and purchase it. I love it, so I'm definitely going to use it. This is my uh, favorite, okay, Oracle's card collection. So go and purchase it for a special price. I'm gonna, definitely going to put it the link there discount price you can definitely uh, follow there okay so let's start the reading you have a three decks in front of you choose intuitively whatever the deck is calling you this is wheel of the it's a golden wheel tarot deck yeah it's a white fly tarot deck this is also a gift i'm going to put the link of um, his shop if you want to buy it purchase it very beautiful um, tarot deck number three is joker tarot deck um, this is my one of the favorite. The people were asking that um, what, which tarot deck. Um, one of you, one of you definitely asking um, recently that which tarot deck I like. I'm definitely going to put the video too to show you that which tarot deck I like and my collection too. If I will have a tie right now, things are messy. So, but still, I will do it. This reading, yeah. This is a Joker tarot deck from PrimeMuse.com. This is also a gift, so you can buy them from their. Um, their website okay but at the same time you can buy them purchase them from um, Amazon too okay so let's start it let's start it I will meet you on your reading hey group number one if you choose this beautiful hot hair welcome on your reading let's see what your person is currently feeling and thinking about you their intentions what's going on and all that stuff from this tarot deck I'm gonna lay the whole cards first and oracles and then I'm gonna tell you that what's happening so you can move forward if you don't want to see this um, shuffling let's see what your person is currently feeling and thinking about you we have the fool then we have strength that is reverse let's see what your person is currently feeling and thinking two of wands We have the two of wheels. Okay. We have four of wheels. We have the six of wands. And then we have the six of pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have three of swords energy here. Let me shuffle the oracles card now. Into it, oracles card. Second edition, love this Oracle's card, love them, just love them. Thank you so much, Aria, if you're, you're watching this video. I'm definitely going to put the special link, so you have to see it. So we have the Grasshopper. And then we have the Heart. I hope you can see the cards here. Yeah, and then we have the moon, high priestess, interesting. Let me pull these cards now from this twin flame oracles card. Let's see. I love this deck. This is also very beautiful. Let's see what you got here. Okay. 
So first you got the mirrors. I wish you could see that we are mirroring each other right now. This is how the cards look like. Very beautiful oracles card. Another mirror, okay. You are in your old patterns but can't see it. So a lot of mirroring going on here. Then we have 11-11. We are coming into union but it's came up reverse. I don't know if you see it or not. Okay. I think one more. Okay, two more. Let's see, let's begin, honey. Wow, we have timing and intentions. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. So there's something with the timing here. And then another five, messages about trust. There is a lessons to be learned from this. Okay, so first thing I noticed that you could be seeing a lot of fives in your reading. Okay, so there's a lot of fives here. I also want to see that from this Romance Angels first. I'm going to see some Oracle Scott to get it here. Basically, what's happening? Where are you right now currently? Three cards came up. You deserve love because you're lovable. Then we have love yourself first. Yeah, this is what I was picking up. And then we have this is it is safe for you to love. Okay, the first thing first, it's look like, um, yeah, I'm saying that there could be a third party here for some of you, that you're dealing with someone that who is in a third party. There's a children and family involved here for some of you. If it's not, then there's definitely, basically you're not on the same page right now. You could be dealing with Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, any earth sign. There's a lot of uh, earth energy here. But this could be uh, a Leo, Aries, and Sag. And I'm also picking up Aquarius vibe. Um, we have a lot of fives. Five, 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 five. Another five. Oh my God, a lot of fives. So you could be seeing a lot of five, five, five. Five is a temporary, you know, like the number of change. Uh, it's, it's also about some type of talking about temporary situation, temporary break between you and this person. But there will be a change. If you're seeing a 5-5 five, five a lot, it's mean that this is not a permanent. Whatever the situation between you and this person is, it's not permanent. There will be a change. So I'm strongly feeling that your situation with this person will be changed. Your relationship status or whatever currently, if you're going through, basically I feel it's a separation here right now. Mostly I'm seeing a separation. But if it's you're together, there's still problems here. If you're together, there's a still problem here between you and this person. Communication problem or you both are competi competing with each other, not understanding with each other, fighting with each other, not understanding the perspective, um, sorry, views of other person. You know, it's, it's a totally different, like you're not on the same page. Okay, there could be a lot of argument, fights and challenge and competition here between you and this person. And if you are in a separation, this person is really, really... Um, yeah, it could, it could be third party, baby mama involved here. I'm seeing that or you could be a single mother watching this video. It does not have to be. You could be totally two single people, but there is a problem here. Definitely. Three of swords, it's, it's a problem between you and this person. And it's a communication problem, misunderstanding, fights, conflicts. You're not on the same page. It's a competition between you and this person. Others of you, this could be talking about um, maybe this person is, is having a difficult time even to express you. How do they feel? You both are. You both are having a difficult time to express it. It's like, it's, wow. So if this is a twin flame connection, because I'm seeing here 11-11, we are coming into union, 11-11. But right now you are in a, because it came up like this, so it's mean it's a separation here. You both could be processing, are driven by your ego right now. And why I'm seeing this is because I'm seeing the two of wands card like this in this deck. Look at this. It's like they're fighting, <laughs> right? And look at this all clouds here. So it's a fighting. It's a gray. It's black. So you both are seeing each other as a competition. Like who will come first? Who will talk first? Who will, who will uh, do this first? I, why I should do that? Why, why I need to do this? You need to do this. You know, there's a competition going on. There's a fight here between you and this person. You're seeing, it's, it's like an ego with the strength here. Reverse. It's an ego here between you and this person. When the strength upright, it's like you both are being patient with each other. Trusting each other, loving each other, because it's a, and in, in a normal tarot deck, you know, right or right, it's, it's, a, it's a lion there, it's a bear here now. So this person could be um, 
a bear like big person big fluffy person or something but it's just like um you know bear and um human connection something like that so it's not comfortable it is comfortable the way they both are sitting and they both are together it's comfortable it's reverse here it's not comfortable right now you're not comfortable in each other company you both are not comfortable it's it's definitely ongoing conflict misunderstanding competition ego why should i do that you need to do this you know all that stuff two of pentacles uh, so some of you you're still juggling and struggling like i don't know if i want to deal with this person anymore and this is how the, you you're also seeing a lot of twos here so it's it's definitely difficult to be in union difficult to be in a harmony with each other this if this is a third party this person is juggling with the two of uh, wheels here two of pentacles juggling and two of wands like i don't know who should i pick who is the right option for me who is the right choice for me but this could be your energy too as a viewer like you could be struggling between two people like you're having a difficult time like i don't know who i want to pick who i want to choose should i stay with this person does not have to be like you have a two people you would have literally a choice to stay with this person to move on to be with this person or not like you're thinking about it you're definitely thinking about it and i'm seeing a lot of birds here so there could be um, again it's talking about gossip here involvement here of other people maybe like uh, someone is telling you like this person is saying about you and you're and and this person is getting about you like she is talking about you like this you know there's involvement or interference of other people so there's a definitely a lot of conflict here misunderstanding competition going on here now i'm also saying with the four of wheels some of you this person is right now not ready to give you what you want so they're definitely holding back they're not ready to give you is is you maybe think it's it's the, like this person give up on you it's not with a full card i feel like the fool is for me it's a future so they will definitely show up to you in the future or they could be planning and thinking about to come back re enter in your life re connect with you but they know that it's a competition they can't do it right now they're not ready if there's a third party or it's a competition between you and them they don't want to again argue with you conflict with you have a fight with you and the way this fool in this deck is touching this moon here so i feel like this person can um come to you or will talk to you or enter in your life whenever the full moon is or you will manifest this person on a full moon something about the full moon here so we recently gone through this full moon okay full moon happened okay so um so it could be maybe on this full moon this person is trying to reach out to you trying to contact you you may be seeing this person in your dreams yeah we have a six of wands this person definitely want a victory they want a victory they want to win it but i'm seeing because it's came up two of wands and six of wands it's look like you both are you know arguing with each other fighting with each other like who will win it's not about win it's not about competition when you are in love this person want to win at at, at any cost especially if they are a fire sign aries leo sag or they could be aquarius or they could be a fixed sign they could be a earth sign taurus will go capricorn i'm getting taurus vibe to be honest like they are capricorn you know like they they they're taking this as as on their ego it's like it's triggering for both of you so both of you you both need to heal yourself with this energy here look at this you deserve love and love yourself first you both need to heal in this situation you know that i'm going to talk about this person but at the same time talk about you too so you know better you have to understand that in love there is no competition either you you want to win it at any cost then it's not going to go anywhere there is a compromise needed here there is a uh, if you want to tell this person that i want this i want this you also need to understand the other person like what are they trying to say if they are willing to work with you if they are willing to say like i want you with the six of wheels six of pentacles i want to be with you i want to date you i want to stay here but understand me i will give you this thing in the future whatever you are looking for or whatever you are asking or maybe this person is telling you that with the 4 of pentacles and 2 of pentacles like i'm not ready right now to date to be in a relationship so you have to understand that and step back and you deserve love and love yourself first you need to heal and understand that you deserve love don't take this person no as personally like this person is you know like driving your your ego like wow he hurt me oh my god now i will do this with this person i will take revenge of this person it's it's it's, it's that type of competition going on here you both need to understand that love is a place where you show, you both should be in a safe place and comfortable with each other it's not a comfortable space right now whatever you are doing with each other talking to each other or whatever you are doing you're not comfortable with this person the way this person is giving you thing or not even offering you and they're also not comfortable 
maybe if especially if this is a third party they need to figure it out they need to find out first it's like they're struggling they're juggling right now they need to make a decision and come correctly to you so you can't say to this person like come to me even though they have other responsibilities like they need to fix that thing situation right if especially if this is a third party now let's talk about these oracle card that i was picking up here we have the high priestess so moon there's a definitely a lot of uh Again, something with the moon here. So you could be a Cancer or dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and this person has a water moon. Or you maybe have it. A high priestess. So a lot of you, welcome if you are a tarot reader just like me, intuitive, psychic, healer, light worker. Are you just an empathic person? You just pick up other people's uh, intuitively energy. Okay, it does not have to be. You could be a reader like me, but you have to be. So welcome. Uh, high priestess is talking about, please trust your intuition. You know that what's, what's happening you because high priestess knows that what behind the, what's happening behind the scenes it's also talk about dreams here so you could be getting signs and synchronicities and dreams about this person this situation there is a lot of secrets here maybe you are keeping it secrets you may be not telling this person clearly what do you want what are you looking for you could be guarded up so you also need to speak up to this person and tell this person what are you looking for okay i want this go and figure it out and then when you're ready come to me so there's a need of speak here. There's a need of communication here between you and this person. Clear communication. Clear. We also have a heart. Love and romance. And we have the heart. Definitely it's talking about you could be 24 years old or 29. Uh, number 4 and 5 could be important. It could be date of birth, life path. 4, 5. I'm getting 6, 2 and 4. A lot of 5s and a lot of 1, 1, 11, 11. You're seeing it. If you feel this is your twin flame, you're definitely you should not process through your ego or driven by your ego. You also need to understand what is wrong in you. You have to heal yourself. You need to do your own part and you can't take responsibility of that person. They need to do their own part. But also don't take everything personally on yourself. It's not a competition. You're not winning it. Because unfortunately, um, uh, on, on channels, YouTube channels, are people, uh, you know, it's a misguided energy here that we want to be in union. The union is not a mission here in Twin Flame or Soulmates. It's not a mission. It's like you find a soul that who can understand you, who can love you. Unconditional love, that's what the strength is. Unconditional love, that you love. Understand this, uh, This. Th see this card. It will tell you about like, how can be a human and animal be a friend? A lover, but they are, right? Look at this. That's what the strength is all about. Unconditional love. It's reverse here. So you both are processing through your ego, your greed. Like, no, I want this. You have to give me. You have to give me now. No. It's not a mission. It's not a mission that we should be together and we should be physically together. If, if you would believe that with the high priestess, you would trust your intuition and you feel it. This is your, the love of your life. You're romantically involved with this person. This person will come. Why not freeing yourself and loving yourself and giving this person space and time? So when they're ready, they will come to you and there will be a union. Right now, it's separation here. There is a purpose here. And this separation is happening because you need to learn your own lesson and they need to learn their own. Look at this. We have the grasshopper. This person's name could be J-A or A-J, I'm hearing. Could be relevant, specific for some of you. We have a leap of faith, easy going. Don't worry. Yeah, look at this with, this, with the fool could, with the fool too. And with this grasshopper, it's talking about going with the flow. Not worrying about your future. Like, oh my God, what will happen in the future? Oh my God, it's not happening. Live in the present moment. Present moment is, is, is like, if this person is with you and telling you and promising you, then you, if you feel like it with the... High priestess, and you feel like this person is the love of your life, and you have a strong connection with this person spiritually, intuitively, psychically, then why not? Why not trusting? Why not trust? Why not feel like safe with this person? Okay, I wanna I, I, I wanna trust on you. Go and do your work and come to me when you're ready. Moving on. It's, it's some of you it's talking about move on from the past. Release the past, release the, this situation and and build your foundation with each other with the four of pentacles and six of pentacles. Understand each other luck here so this relationship is going to bring luck into your life or maybe this person is working financially they're not there this could be any reason with a three of sorts like anything that is interfering right now between you and this person you need to understand that especially if if you feel this person on your spiritual level intuitively in dreams and everything is telling you like this is the one this is the one now we have a mirroring energy coming up a lot of we have mirrors here I wish you could see that we are mirroring each other right now. You are in your old patterns. There's definitely patterns here repeating between you and this person. 
we have a mirror. You can't, it's look like you're, you're seeing this person, but you're not seeing yourself in a mirror. You also need to see in yourself mirror. That's how this spiritual or this, this uh, soulmate connection or twin flame, whatever you want to call intuitive soul level, it's, it's a lesson. Spiritual relationships are definitely here. So we can understand and mirror each other that what is wrong in me, that what I'm doing wrong, what I need to learn, what I need to heal, what is my pattern in relationship. So basically you're mirroring each other. You both want to be with each other, but the problem is competition. We are coming into union, but it's came up reverse here. You both could be dancers. Does not have to be. Black and white couple. Or you both could be black. I don't know. I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at this. It's reverse here. So it's, it's not going to be possible if you're going to push it before that you both are ready. Again, understand that union is not a mission in soulmate and twin flame connection. But unconditional love, respect, understanding, mutual love, that you, you have this feeling like this person is there for you. This person loves you unconditionally, accepts you who you really are, right? And this is what we meet these type of people, our soulmates and this, this soul connection. So, and we have, look at this, there's a lesson to be learned from this. So you're learning lesson and they're learning too. For some of you, this person could be your teacher or you could be teacher and student type of a connection here. Um, and then we have a timing and intentions. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. So this person is trying to change the situation, trying to change themselves, but it is going to take time. It's all about divine timing here. Okay. Now let's see what this person want to say to you. And uh, then I will move towards timing. This person's channel love messages. Let's see. No, I want to see that. I know that people are waiting for what is this person next move towards you. Let's see. What this person going to do next in this relationship? I know this person's next move towards you. Either you are in a contact or not. Let's see. Let's see from the cards. We have a love. Yeah, this person loves you. It's all about love. They want this love, but it should be unconditional. You need to love yourself. So they need to come towards you. You deserve love and you need love, right? So it's, 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 it's don't be obsessed with this person. Love is not obsession. That then it's mean it's unhealthy love. You should not be obsessed with this person or this situation, your outcome, your future with this person. Just go with the flow, with a full card and current energy. Paradise, yes. Love is a paradise, I'm hearing. This could be a song. Paradise love or love is paradise, something like that. Again, clock is coming in your reading. Look at this. It's all about divine timing, honey. You can't force it. It's not going to happen before whatever you force this person or whatever you blackmail this person. Or they will blackmail you. Nothing going to work on you or nothing going to work on this person. So there's a paradise here when you are together, right? So let's see what this person want to say to you. We have a lot of messages. Yeah, I was right. Look at this. Synchronicity in your coming in your reading. So you could be seeing this person's names, signs, songs, symbols, dreams about this person that is reminding you of this person. This is for those people who are in separation. Taking action very soon. I have to confess I know. Can we be together as friends? So this person maybe just want to be friend or offering you friendship right now. We have a day dreaming about you. You are out of my league. Okay, so this person could have some insecurity or self-worth issue. This is very intense. Give me a break. Yeah, so this person maybe literally said to you that give me a break. I'm not ready for this. I can feel this person energy like they're not ready. They're not on that level yet. Let's see uh, when this person um, come and approach you. When? Because this is the timing. I know now. You want to know that when this person going to approach you or contact you. Or when you will come into union literally, properly, let's see. So we have a times of life. You reflect the world, the world reflects you. The, again, something with the timing here. It's look like it's, it's not the right time yet. And then we have Sunday. Go inwards, develop a vision. It's a sun, by the way, number one. In astrology, it's a sun, number one. So it could be in a Leo season for some of you. And Sunday could be day, important day. We have 11 days or 11 weeks. Yeah, for some of you, again, something with the look at this. Wow. A lot of synchronicity in your reading. Look at this. 11 and 1, 1, 1, 1. So you could be seeing 5, 5, 1, 1, 11, 11. So this is a soulmate and twin. If this is a soulmate and twin film connection, why are you worried, honey? You need to trust that. Trust your intuition. And, and put your trust and faith on God. Like, yes, we will be together. Then what's the problem? Look, if, if the trust and the faith is not in you, if you will watch thousands and hundreds, okay, hundreds readings every day, 
and 50 readings every day on from different channel or whatever you are seeing the same thing like what your person is feeling and thinking if you are not trusting on yourself or not trusting on this love you are not with a high priestess not trusting your own intuitions your psychic things nobody can give you this confirmation and bring this confidence and this trust in you and believe in you that it's going to happen until you're not going to work on yourself until you're not going to believe this is coming from inside so if you don't if you don't believe inside if you have a doubt if you, if you have a doubt and if you have a confusion nobody can change that so understand that this is how it works and if you're seeing i told you if you see my readings and if you feel like this is a confirmation it's a confirmation then why are you doubting trust that it's a process it's 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 a, it's just a journey enjoy the journey enjoy the process again mission is not the goal is not uh, you know um union let's see from the yeah we have a h i told you another word that i was talking about a and j could be j h c um c h and we have a guitar so this person could be play music something with the dancing and music here too you or them maybe we also have a queen of cups yeah so there's a lot of love here you may love this person so much so that's why it's really hurting you but you need to also make a healthy boundary you could have a cancer in your chart very strongly yeah definitely moon energy pisces cancer scorpio a lot of water energy so if you are a sentimental you are sensitive you're emotional i understand but you need to control it your own emotions your feelings otherwise you're going to hurt we have a two hearts with a cupid arrow so definitely you both are in love we have a pizza something to do with the pizza or food this person definitely literally a taurus because i'm getting a strong vibes of a taurus foodie um competitive stubborn you know fixed we have the wheel of fortune so this is talking about it's for me it's a wheel so things will turn between you and this person things will change okay there will be a change between you and this person in this relationship but we, again with the timing here for some of you this person could be a driver we have a one kiss so this person maybe want to kiss you um you are safe with me this person want this is also coming i it's safe it is safe for to love you are safe with me so if you have a trust issues or this person has a trust issues definitely you both need to feel safe first comfortable with each other we have the rose so there's a definitely lot of attraction towards you physically be kind yeah this person wants you to be kind especially if there's a third party or other things that's going on so this person wants you to understand them and be kind with their situation it could be anything they could be he she or they i i read for everyone okay so don't fix on it girl or guys i do for everyone you can just switch the energies i'm seeing the thinking here so this person is definitely thinking about you constantly you are on the, continuously you are on this person mind they think about you it's not like they don't care they do but there is something that they need to maybe work on they need to heal they need to figure it out and this is very intense if this is if this is intense they never felt before they they want a break so they can figure it out basically what is this okay so that's your reading going to see you later bye like share and subscribe hit the notification bell hey group number 2 if you chose this white fly tarot deck and this beautiful white heart stone welcome i was um uh, channeling before doing your reading so you you your person and it, it's a specific age i don't know why i just channeled the age here so some of you the pick here you could be 28 years old or 33 there's a age gap here between you and this person of 5 years okay or this could be someone that you're dealing with from 5 years or 5 months 5 weeks okay there's something with the five here okay um but i'm i specifically change uh, channel uh, the age 28 and 35 33 let's see i'm going to lay hold the card first and then we will do the reading so if you can't see it definitely move forward you know play the video forward and i i will start uh, the reading so i have to shuffle first on the camera so let's see what this person group number 2 person he she or they whoever you are looking for is feeling and thinking about you their intentions right now what's going on all about your person we have a king of swords energy here i love this deck you know that this is one of my favorite three of pentacles we have the sun wow and then we have the judgment oh my god seven of cups 
let's see what's more this person could be Pisces and Aquarius X um, X I said X okay so some of you this could be your ex that you're asking about like Pisces or Aquarius or you could be Pisces and Aquarius couple or this person have a Pisces Aquarius in their chart or they could be cusp of Pisces and Aquarius some of you it's Aquarius and Leo X is going on here with a Sun card here and King of Swords I'm also seeing strong Pisces energy here though and Leo yeah ten of wands this person maybe have a Saturn in um, okay let's talk about astrology because you know that I am I love astrology okay so this person could have a Mars in Capricorn Venus in Scorpio maybe and we also have a Mars sorry Saturn in Sagittarius now we have uh, the Hermit bottom of the deck and we have a three of swords oh my god oh god we have a temperance so something to do with the music here you could be channeling the music from this person like okay I will go there but let's channel the first I will pull all the cards here wow there's a lot of channeling it's, it's mean you're not in a contact this person really want to talk a lot of things to you they want to express a lot of things oh my god this person whoever they are they want to talk a lot of things they want to express a lot of things let's see uh, from this intuit oracles card um, check it out okay their website it's a free sorry it's a special link for a special discount offer definitely follow that if you really want to purchase it i know you will because a lot of people definitely ask me where i bought this card so it's here okay so everyone got the three but you got the four in this pile yeah we have definitely prince of air you're definitely linked with the air sign so this person have a gemini libra or aquarius look at this sexy guy I love this Oracle's card, okay? So definitely purchase it from the special link given below. In my description box and comment. Look at this. Wow, this person is attractive, okay? Oh my God, this person is attractive. Let's see, we have the wine. Oh my God, sexy guy or girl. Who, who you are dealing with? We have this, I'm hearing the fine wine. Wow. Fine wine okay let's see oh we have the five yeah we have the sun definitely so it's a leo energy sun the brighter of life the sun you got the sun twice are you kidding me the sun twice in your reading wow a lot of synchronicity in your reading and we also have a double rainbow divine intervention are you kidding me please <laughs> stop we have a tower it's looked like a paris so this person could be from Paris or you could be, this person could be French. Yeah, stand alone, guidance. I will see that later. We'll read that. This person could be tall. I know it's very nasty, but I'm picking up like, if this is a male, this person has a tower, you know, like big mm, tower in their pant, okay? Something with, to do with this big with your big um what is this called banana tower whatever you want to call <laughs> it always a one pile that give me this nasty vibe i don't know you guys are nasty okay you guys are funny hilarious this is not my reading you know that okay i'm not like that type of person but you got definitely it's kinky what are you doing this person may be thinking about it you maybe turn this person on like really turn them on let's see what's more from this twin flame oracles card this is also the given link please um purchase it it's very beautiful oracles card you're definitely gonna love it i recommend this so we have a communication i watch you on social media and the internet it's my way of staying close and finding out more about you oh Wow, love, definitely a lot of uh, social media thing here. So it, it could be an air sign. A like, lot of... We have a karmic ties. I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I am creating a plan to leave him or her. Interesting. 
There's a lot of six in your reading, so you could be seeing a lot of six here. We have a message, uh, romantic messages. I love that. This is very romantic. Oh, I feel the sexual in Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You, you, you saw that? I did not. I just pulled this card, okay? Let's see. I was talking about it. There is a sexual energy and this message is a confirmation. I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. Oh my God. You turn this person on. Come on. Period. You turn this person on, baby. Let's see. Anything else, Bert? Something this person want to deliver to group number two? We have all about growth. I have hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. Okay. It came up reverse. So this person is still in the fear. In their fear. And they're reacting it. If they're reacting it, it's, it's fear. Let's see. One more. Yeah, we have romantic messages again. Love that. Uh, I would long ago shut down those parts of me that wanted love, romance, and intimacy. But you make me long for those things again. I told you. There's something... And again, the communication thing. This person maybe look like this, or you could be a black couple. I love that. They're beautiful, right? Please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. Oh my God. So the, again, I told you, this person wanna talk to you. Like there is communication. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of things I'm channeling from this person. This person's mind is mess, okay? And that's why it's the seven of cups here. It's confused. Like they don't know how to proceed, how to start, where to start, how to talk about it, things. Because this person is, ha yeah, okay. Forgiving and learning. They really want your forgiveness, whoever this is. Reconciliation. Yeah, I feel you're not in a contact with this person. And if you are, true love, romance of a lifetime. For me, it's a twin flame in, in Romance Angel. And when they, we have a finances and career. Yeah, this person is definitely... Stay optimistic about your love life. Look, there is no doubt about it. This person loves you. Let me say it like that. There is no doubt about it. But there is a struggle here. Okay? There is a struggle. And we know that everyone has a struggle. Everyone has their own struggle. Now, this person could be, I told you, um, okay, I'm, go I'm going to give you the signs. Definitely air sign. We have a Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Uh, strong Leo energy because the sun is coming twice. Uh, then we have Sagittarius energy for me. Could be Aries, okay? We also have a Scorpio and Capricorn um, presence in, in your reading. And we have the Hermit. It's a Virgo, right? And if we see as a, you know, astrologically, the Gemini and Virgo is, is a ruler of Mercury, okay? In astrology. So this person is all about communication. They want to communicate things with you. And you can see that in this specific card. You can see that with the Three of Pentacles, this looks like this person is writing. They maybe write the message, okay? But they delete it, okay, because of their fear with the seven of cups. It's, it's all about in this person's head. Like they, they, they're afraid to express it. With the seven of cups and three of pentacles, this person may be having a difficult time to convey their love message or anything to you in, in, in a proper way, okay? This person could be a writer. I'm getting the, if something with the music here. They could be a writer. They could be writing things to you. Um, they could be do poetry, Okay, they're definitely writing something. They're doing something so you can write about it. You can see that they're talking to you, but not in a direct way. It's like not a direct communication coming from this person, but they are, whatever they're writing on their social media accounts, whatever they're writing, like something like they could be pu putting quotes on their uh, Instagram, putting the stories, something lyrics, something songs. This person is definitely giving you the signs and hints. I, you can't say it, no, it is. For some of you, you're channeling the love songs from this person, okay? If something that is, is certainly you're singing a song or suddenly is reminding you of, of this person, you're like you're singing a song on the radio, on phone, or um, on a YouTube, but the song is coming and it's a memory, it's a flashback, it's reminding you of this person, it's definitely like this person is conveying that message. Pay attention to the lyrics of that song, okay? Like this person want to say something to you. This person has a throat chakra blocked, Okay? Now, let me see. We have the five, uh, the hermit and we have the three of swords. You can see that. When I saw this card, I was like, whoa, this person is crying. Look at this. This is a very beautiful tarot deck. 
this person is crying. I don't know if you can see this person tear, but yes, it's, it's a crying. I hope it can fix, it can show you this much claws. I want to show you this person tear. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. And we also have the hermit energy here. This person's heart is black and this, this is like a skull. So this person is broken from the past. They, they felt they're dead. They don't have feelings. They don't have emotions, but there's something about you. You give this person's heart like beat. They, their heart beats. Okay, look, this person is saying to you that I never felt this type of way. I felt, I felt like, no, I don't need love. This person is maybe have this, uh, um, you know, there is a styles of attachment if you know about it. So this person have avoidant attachment style. Okay, so they could be very, very independent. Look at these finances and career. They definitely maybe struggle financially or this person definitely put themselves and, you know, a pressure on themselves and always challenge them in their responsibilities, finances and career and ten of wands. This person could have a, this type of a career that need, uh, you know, like physical strength, uh, physical um, health is very important for this person. They need to be active in their field physically. Okay, I'm talking about physically. It could be writing. It could be performing. It could be doing anything. They could be travel a lot because I'm seeing that could be traveling a lot. So this person is definitely doing this thing for a long time until their birth or maybe whatever they have been adult with this finances and career. They buried themselves into finances and career, on their money, on their finances, right? But there's something about you, you challenge, you trigger something and they want a relationship now. And it's very hard and difficult for this person to be in a relationship when they thought that they're never going to be in a relationship because maybe this person hurt badly in the past. They give their heart to someone and this person broke it. Look at this. It's, they felt like it's over. I'm, I, I'm never going to be falling in love. I will never think about relationship. I will think about money. I will think about only myself. This person could be analytical type of a person, obviously, because we have air energy. So they're all about in their head. They could be logical, analytical, perfectionist type of a person because it's an air sign and a hermit. Wow. Come on. So this person is definitely perfectionist. Like they want everything in their order. So it's not like, yeah, this person has a control issues. Let's just say it like that. Now, yeah, this person hurt you. We know that. They hurt you and they're sorry. And we also have forgiving and learning. This person knows that they hurt you. They trigger you. They push you away. They break your heart. It's not about you. They're saying it's, I hope you can forgive me and someday and understand that I was reacting in a fear, fear of losing their heart, fear of losing their independence, fear of breaking their heart again, fear of being into like judged again, okay, being in a relationship again, okay, so this person is struggling in, in relationships or they have been, they have the, uh, had a struggle in the past in a relationship, so this person was cold for a long time with the king of swords, okay, they were cold, they were detached, they were masculine. This person is very masculine, by the way. And this person is and, and reacting in a cold way. But now with this judgment here, you can see that all the fishes, this person maybe thought like, oh, all maybe other options are there or maybe other fish in the sea. I'm saying that, yes, this is how this person sees you. They did not see your worth when you were in this person, in front of this person uh, with the seven of cups too. And with this all fishes, I feel like this person thought, oh my God, there's a lot of fishes in the, in the sea. I can find someone better or I can be with someone else. I, maybe you're not my type. Maybe you're not like I'm looking for, you know. Now this person is getting that judgment. They definitely judge you in the past. And now they are getting this judgment. They feel because whenever I see this card in this, it's a, there's a donkey here. For me, it's like a dump. So they're finally understanding that they definitely did hurt you. They were dumb. They were fool. They were stupid. That they did not see that you are totally different. You, you were everything that they want in the life. Because with the sun card and coming twice, it's like you make this person happy. You make this person like a baby again, I'm hearing. This person maybe wants to have a family with you, want to have a child with you. But there's something about this person's inner child because I'm seeing with the King of Swords, it's, it's, it's like this person act masculine, but this person's, I feel with the Sun and Ten of Wands, it's like this person's inner child is wounded. This, maybe this person has an upbringing very difficult from difficult father, difficult upbringing from their family, like a lot of labor work. Maybe they started their labor work from their ch early childhood, responsibilities on, on their shoulder as an early childhood. So this person's inner child is wounded. 
And you have to understand that everyone has their own difficulty, their own um, life that they, they've gone through, right? So maybe that's why this person is like, no, I will do only the focus on only my finances and career because they may be hurt in the past. But now this person is realizing that you are their true love. With a coming sun coming twice, your soulmates. They know that you are their soulmate. You are the love of their life. They want to reconcile with you. Look at this all clouds here. But they don't know how this situation will heal between you and them. Maybe they never express it. Or they're trying to express it and you're not getting it. But again, I want to see, I want to tell you that. This person is saying that, please communicate with me. Look, I want to show you the, uh, the deck here. Where the card gone? I don't know. Yeah, it, here, here, sorry. This deck. I'm going to show you this deck here. I was really, uh, I knew that this person, this, this, look at this, this person communication, like this person is saying, please contact me. So it's mean that you, you maybe continuously talk to this person, sending the messages, call and uh, email. And you feel like this person is not even reading. This person is not texting you back, not even giving you response. No, this person is reading everything, whatever you're trying to say, but they may be this, this person is saying to you, I may not respond, but knowing you care about opens my heart. This person wants to know that you care about them. It's very heavy energy. Uh, I told you, this person heart is heartbroken. Maybe this person never had this type of a love before. This person thought that nobody loves them, nobody cares for them. Only people come towards them because of their own, like could be have they have a public image or they could be very attractive because sun is coming twice and wine and the Gemini man. Like this person could be very, very attractive person or they could be well known in their community because of their work or people just you they maybe have always uh, you know i'm getting like this person could be surrounded always by the fans or people you know all the fishes seven of cups and the, maybe this person thought like you're always you know you are just like another woman or another man around them but no you are something different you came up in this person's life with the temperance here by the spirit by the divine there was a purpose here and you have a temperance here so you both could be totally different from each other this person definitely, again, something with the music here. So please, this person is crying, cried over you and crying. This person is heartbroken. They're, it's, this, it's look like this person was dead. But there's something about you, meeting you, is, is, is make them alive, make them happy, make them change. And you will see the change in this person. This person is changing, but they're in the processing. This person is definitely getting judged now by their own decision, by their own themselves. They're getting the judgment. Maybe this person, if this person is in a public eye, let's say, or they could be popular, or they could be, because I'm seeing that this person is, could be in a sports, in a military, they could be an artist, um, they could be, uh, you know, travel a lot for their work or business. So, like, this person has some type of reputation, okay, or career-oriented person, like very successful person, financially, independent, you know. So, this person maybe already have, always, always have options, right, around them. And they thought that you were one of them, but no. Now they're judged. They, they definitely, they, they know that they fucked up. Now we also have a romantic message. This person is feeling very, very sexual towards you, but it's not just sexual. They feel, this person can't understand that why they are attractive to you more than physical. Like it's more than sexual. It's unconditional love. Again, reconciliation, true love, unconditional love, twin flame, soulmate. But I feel with the sun coming up twice, it's a soul. Your, your soul is connected with this person. You could have a past life with this person too. But you are hurt, I know, especially if you're a female or feminine energy. Doesn't matter you're male and you have a feminine energy. You are hurt. I feel this is my viewer, whoever you're watching it. This is you. You're hurt. And this person knows that they hurt you and they're sorry. But they can't say it because maybe the damage is done already, I'm hearing from you. This person could be with someone else. They maybe choose someone else over you with a seven of cups and judgment for some of you. This could be a case. And they know that they're karmic tie. So this person is thinking about to leave this woman or man, whatever they are thinking. But I feel like this could be this person, people, or judgment of their community, their friends, their family. Like, tell this person, like, no, you can't do it. Especially if you're totally different from each other. Status difference or culture difference or religion, different background. Okay. And if it's a third party, especially if this person choose someone else over you, because I can see that this person always have options. Okay. They, they, they feel like you're the one. Communication. This person is watching every move of you on social media. What are you doing? What are you saying? What are you posting? So they can get like, what are you thinking about them? I feel this is a communication problem. This person thought chakra is closed. I don't know if they ever express it 
or they are going to express it, but this is a double rainbow, it's a divine intervention. So you met each other for a divine. It, it is just not a coincidence that you met this person, okay? You could be from Rainbow Tribe, for some of you. We have a tower here, so there's a definitely tower movement happened between you and this person. We also have a Paris, so something Paris is, for me, Eiffel Tower is very romantic. So this person maybe will wanna, wanna be a romantic. They want to open up to you in a romantic way. But we have the stand alone. So this person is standing alone. They always have been alone, standing alone. They feel like they don't need anyone. I told you, like, this person have a avoidant attachment style. So they, they, it's like this person could be working with the government, could be institute, they could be higher on a position, legal system, there could be something involved here. This is someone, this person's ego is also very tall, like very big and huge. So, yeah, but this person, is there something about you is like this person wants to work with you. You make them happy. And we have the Gemini. This person is hot, like a hot wine. This person also wine and dine you, maybe want to go on a trip with you in a Paris, want to invite you maybe on a dinner, a romantic date, I'm hearing. They will, okay? They will communicate with you. But you need to keep communicating with them because they, they're reading everything. They're, they're watching you. They're, they're definitely seeing that. What are you doing? What are you saying to them? This person has a trust issues. They need to trust you first. Like you're not uh, coming towards them only for their money, for their look, or for their um, success or their status. This person need assurance. This person need this, this trust on you first, okay? So if you truly love this person, keep continue talking to them. But I'm not saying that, that you have to do this. But this person really wants you to understand that, yeah, I'm seeing this person going to talk to you with the sun and the ten of wands. It's this person is having, a, it's like a burden on this person's chest that they want to release to tell you that they like you. Yeah, so some of you, it's a wedding ring. Oh my God. This could be a single parent for some of you. Maybe that's why this person is heartbroken. They, they don't want to be involved with anyone because they feel like, I don't want to. But I'm strongly feeling mostly of you, this person is inner child wounded and inner child is wounded and they, they buried themselves in their career and their success. We have a wedding ring. Some of you, this person want to marry you. This is what happening. This person's next move. This person planning about marriage, proposal. But I'm feeling this person definitely want to join you romantically. They want to date you and they know that they hurt you. This person makes you happy, you make them happy. Your souls are connected. Kisses, falling in love, yes. Unconditional love. There's definitely a word is coming, unconditional love. Giving and receiving, right? Affection, falling in love. This person really want equal give and take. And if you showed your love to this person, they know that. They're regretting that they hurt you. It was a one-sided. Healthy choices, yeah. If this person has a lot of options, they will make a healthy choice. They are trying to make a healthy choice. They want to build their trust. They want to, yeah, again, something with the glasses, sunglasses, they're watching you. This person is watching and keeping an eye on you. Like basically, if you're talking to someone else, are you just playing around? Or whatever you're trying to say and mean it, you really mean it? Or are you just, just saying? You know, like, really, I can understand what this person is going through. Let's see what this person want to say to you. This person is afraid because they never have been loved and this is really scaring them. Let's see now. This person's channel love messages or they're from their higher self that you need to know. Like, what do they want to say to you? Deliver to you right now. Look, I am so in love with you. They are. But they're afraid to tell you because it's looked like for this person, it's like giving you power. It's a power struggle for this person. They don't want to because they have been independent and standing alone for a long time. Are you real? I am confused about our connection. Does it really exist? Yeah. So maybe this person does not know about soulmate twin flame. I am working on myself. Trust me, I'm doing this for us. So they're trying to build the courage, strength, trusting you and wanting to open up their heart for you. I'm so nervous, hesitant to make a move. Yeah, look at this. They're afraid. Do you still love me? So you walked away. You stopped talking to this person maybe. The moment you left me, I lost my phrase, my peace. Yeah. I'm strongly feeling channeling this person. This person is disturbed right now and stressed. If they're working hard and they is, is this person's work need a lot of physical effort or, or something, so I don't think so they're present in their work. Like they're having a difficult time. You're in this person's mind continuously. If you walked away from this person, okay? Now let's see when this person is going to approach you. Then I will move towards... Um, yeah, we have number two. Two days or two weeks. Number two could be important. 
make up a place be entirely uh, balance be entirely realistic wednesday could be important day i'm hitting two or four days or weeks one more and we have an alpha and omega you are free in the choice of the moment yeah so it's it's definitely about you you're free to talk to this person or not this person need to know yeah for some of you it could be in a libra season seven weeks or seven months now let's see from the charms let's see we have a e i in this person letter j j j yeah we have the guitar so something with the music play the music play the instruments we have a six of pentacles uh, for some of you you could be working this person or this person is working very hard yeah six of pentacles they want equal give and take they want equal give and take now because i told you with the kisses it's like falling in love it is going to be equal give and take balance they want balance this person could have a strong libra in their chart something to do with the libra here we have this um unicorn or this could be a horse this person born into a horse here of china chinese your horse is a uh, again talk about passionate movement there is a movement in your connection we have our this yellowstone this person is positive about you and them we have this tiger this panther maybe whatever it is yeah there's a lot of animal spirit here this person really want to move forward they want this is like you are the target of this person this person don't need anyone let me tell you they don't need anyone but they want you there's a difference of wants and needs okay you know it right if you don't know it this person don't need anyone but they want you and so badly so some day soon things are going to start working out they really want to work on this they really okay we have the police so they could be in a police military army they could travel a lot i told you like this this is their uh, if they are into this job it's like physical work needed here we also have the ghost yeah this is ghost this person ghosted you yeah maybe this person never tell you how do they feel with the hermit energy too like they're still ghosting you they could be watching you from afar we have the and this um stethoscope so this person could be a doctor or you could be a doctor but this person is in the process of healing opening their heart again look at this heart they're trying to heal their heart they're trying to open their heart again to trust you we have a cycle so they're coming there's again something with the movement here they could do cycling or they could be in this sports of cycling could be they are always busy working you know but you will hear from this person very soon like they they want you they want to be with you okay there's no chance like they can yeah this is your reading going to see you later bye like share and subscribe hit the notification bell hello group number 3 if you choose this beautiful heart stone green and joker tarot deck welcome on your reading let's see what your person currently feeling about you he she or they whoever you are wanting to ask about i'm going to shuffle the cards on the camera lay all the cards or oracle's card and then start the reading you can move forward if you can't wait for shuffling let's see so we have the queen of pentacles i love this deck we have a uh, three of swords energy here this person could be on a distance from you we have the moon because i'm seeing the aeroplane or anything to any signs or symbol about aeroplane you could be live in the airport places or near the area of aeroplane we have the eight of cups please we have the devil oh oh my god we have the hangman and nine of cups bottom of the deck is the nine of wands knight of cups let's see from the oracle's card i'm going to use into it oracle's uh two decks okay going to leave uh put the link down okay there's a special discount offer that you can buy and purchase it definitely follow the link that i am sending you and giving you in the description box and in the comment you can find out this is a very beautiful oracle's card direction collection that you can definitely 
use it in your pick a card readings and overall in your in your readings let's see we have the element of water then we have stepping stone number 17 could be relevant you could be 70 years old or date of birth 17 months maybe you're not talking to each other fixed uh, the middle what it is saying no now is not the right time okay so this is the oracles got you get from this deck and then we will move towards twin flame oracles deck this is a very beautiful deck again intuit oracles deck link is given special discount offer go and purchase it from there to follow this link let's see so we have a mission as twin flame we are here to ascend and help others to do the same some of you this person could be from turkey or you could be from turkey turkey we have a mission again oh wow there's a lot of mission here we are alchemists we transform why it's not focusing we transform fear into love and shadow into light i saw 0101 so you could be seeing it then we have romantic messages i am tired of being away from you physically i'm trying to process my feeling so i can some i can come back to you okay so yeah there's a definitely distance here physical distance here between you and this person or there could be right now you're not talking to each other then we have the messages telepathing yeah okay i feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you will leave me for good one more please thank you we have mirrors this situation is being caused by both of us look at your own role in this situation to help us change it okay you both could be a dancer do you know like ballet dancer and bottom of the deck also is saying all about growth I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free. Okay. So some of you, you could be walk away from this situation. Look at this, especially if you're a female or feminine energy. You could be walk away from this situation. You're not talking to this person and this person has a fear that you're going to leave them. You're, you're pulling away from this person. Okay. So you could be dealing with um, definitely, uh, we have a queen of pentacles starting. So it could be uh, definitely earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn, very, very strong Capricorn, Sun, Moon are rising. We also have a Pisces. I'm getting Cancer and Scorpio. We have a lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you both could be water and earth sign. Or you both have a maybe water and earth moon. Because there's something with the moon here. Um, and we also have a fixed. So you both could be fixed sign. Like Taurus, Aries. Oh, why is that Aries? Could be Aries. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Hmm. What this person is currently feeling we have a nine of wands definitely guarded up defensive um you could be walked away from this person there's no contact right now we have a queen of pentacles and we also have the eight of cups so some of you you could be walked away because this person has this tendency to you know with the eight of cups is like talking to someone else and to be with someone else there could be someone else involved here because there's another here and there's a three people here so there could be a third party here some of you this person is married with the queen of pentacles because it's a wifey card and we also have a three of swords and the devil. Yeah, there is a third party between you and this person. It's karmic tie though. With the three of swords and the devil, it's karmic, right? But this person is addictive and obsessed with you, with the devil. Look at this. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you. So it's like, um, I'm getting like a forbidden fruit. <laughs> you are this forbidden fruit that this person wants to eat or maybe already eat it. So if you were together, this person just is obsessed with you, obsessed with your body, obsessed with your physical um, connection, like sexual, physical connection, intimacy, even though they're married. Okay, or they could be in another relationship. It's like a really toxic, unhealthy third party situation here. Complicated. It's a very complicated, toxic, unhealthy love story or situation. Uh, for some, this person is already married, let's say, Queen of Pentacles, but you are this person's, maybe you are this karmic tie for this person. Like you are this, this forbidden fruit that this person wants to eat you. And we, by the moon presence in your reading, it's like a secret. 
There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of um, meeting at each other at a night, you know, in a private. It's a private meeting. You maybe go to meet this person in a private. Look at this with the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. You meet this person privately. So there's a secret that you you both kept it from your, you know, this person keep it. This person want to maybe hide you from his wife, from family. I don't know. It's, it's just uh, either it's already happened. Okay, or this person is trying to think about it. If they're going to come towards you, this you know that this person is in a third party. If this is not your reading, this is not your reading. Because I'm strongly feeling it's a third party here. And there is another person involved here. Okay, so it could be um, girlfriend, boyfriend, um, married partners. There's a definitely third party here. If this is not your reading, this is not your reading. We have the hangman. And we also have the Nine of Cups. So this person is stuck in this situation. They could be thinking about you a lot. Telepathically, you could be seeing this person. There's a definitely a lot of telepathy going on between you and this person with the Moon card. This person is definitely telepathically trying to contact, uh, connect you. So if you are seeing this person in your dreams, it's mean this person want to talk to you. This person want to be with you. This person want to, you know, want to be with you. They, this person is obsessed with you with the devil here. If you have been not together, this person will come towards you with the, with the hanged man and nine of cups. Maybe this person is waiting for you to give him a sign or signal, him or her, whoever this is. They're waiting for a sign with the hanged man. Look at this, the way this person is like. Look at this. I want to show you the way this person is doing. Look at this. This person is like one eye closed and one eye is open. Yeah. Nine of Cups. So this person is, 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 is keeping an eye on you secretly with the Moon card. Keeping, watching you maybe from a fake profile for some of you. And with the Nine of Cups, it's like they want to be with you secretly. They're just waiting for you to give them a sign. That the way this person's eyes is open, like it's like this person is open for to cheat his partner. Oh my God, it's so wrong to say it. But yes, this is how it is. So I don't know if you are into this energy or if, if you are into this person already, you know it better. I'm not judging anyone. Don't, don't be offensive. But this person, if, if you did not date this person yet and you're wanting to know about this person's feelings, intentions, like this person is ready to cheat up on their wife and husband for you. And if you already, you know, have an interaction with this person, like physical intentions, uh, sorry, intimate connection with this person or sexual, and it was secret, this person is still open, like... And of cups, like you still make this person happy. They still want to be with you. They want to cheat up their wife. But you will be always a secret. So if you're looking for something, commitment or marriage, I don't think so this person can give you. Look at this person is very defensive, nine of wands. They could be an artist, knight of cups, like an artist, um, singer, musician. I'm hearing this person maybe play the songs or maybe sing the song in a club, in a parties. Could be a DJ. You know, in in... For some of you, this person... Uh, with the Knight of Cups because it's a, you know, very romantic, you know, wine and dining and I want to be all thing for you. But Two of Cups, this person definitely feel the connection with you, soulmate connection with you. And it's very obsession here with the, with the devil and Two of Cups presence here. Like this person is very, very obsessed with you, not with their partner. So this person with the Knight of Cups and Two of Cups, it, it always happened when you are with someone and you fell for someone else and you feel the soulmate connection with someone else. This person feel the connection with you. On a soul level. Because this is all cups here. You make this person happy. You, you make this person romantic. You make this person alive. You, make this, you give this person that they, their partner is not giving. They could be married to this woman or this man. Whoever they got married. Is because of karmic ties with the devil. Like they can't get out of this marriage. Because there could be financial things here. Because I'm seeing a lot of look at this whole big pentacle here. So this person could be stuck in that marriage because of money financial situation that they can't leave because they have to lose all their money or something but if this person is rich and wealthy like they they definitely gonna give you money like i'm almost seeing like this person could be living in a new york london no, it's not a london building though it's it's like a seoul like a korea if it's a, like a big city inter, you know like capital of the country yeah if it's ua it's a dubai or something something like a big capital this person is living in a big city so this person definitely gonna invite you or give you some like a big gift in the maybe, whoa, like this person, 
maybe they have money okay this person is is definitely rich wealthy successful they have money with the queen of pentacles like i'm seeing that this person gonna wine and dine you give you very luxurious gifts like branded gifts everything but they want you to be there and secret oh my god this is very complicated now with this um some of you this could be literally your boss like someone that you're working under so they just want to keep it secret so nobody can gossip about it they want to keep it secret but there's something that this person is coming in your dreams and you're not understanding why this is the reason why oh i forget about this romance angel so we have our element of water 50 50 so this person is not sure about you like you want to uh, be with them or not we have a trust retreat wedding yeah look and we have romantic heart to heart conversation bottom of the deck is a separation so this person could be going through a separation right now with their with their wife or they want to or they will maybe at some point in the future but right now they could be going through it because we have the two nines here so this person is trying to be single trying to get over this karmic tie trying to find a way and they may be not living with their partner so they are just living their bachelor life or single life i saw one 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 eleven so could be you're seeing a lot of one 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 it's like you are this person new beginning you could be seeing a lot of eleven eleven and one one so it's like this person definitely feel the connection with you and that is something spiritual I don't know about you, but this person, whoever you're asking about, they feel the intensity with you. Like there's something, they feel it. And, this, and you're seeing this person in your dreams, it's mean this person really, really obsessing over you. Like drawing you in. Like come, come to me. Come to daddy, come to mama type of energy, you know? Come to me. This person is really, really obsessed with you. Like really desperate, want to be with you. But they want signal from you. Like, like let me in. Let me do something for you. So if, if this person think that you're their twin flames, this person definitely want to take you out. I feel like they want to go on a trip with you, spend some time alone with you, see in a secret. Uh, we also have a mission. So this person feel like you're, you, you both have maybe mission together. This could be a karmic tie for both of you. You both could be an uh, alchemist. Um, yeah, you could be seeing a lot of 369. This is definitely an angel number again. We have this person definitely having a difficult time to, like they can't be physically stay away from you. One, they're, they're afraid that they're going to lose you, like you will choose someone else or pick up someone else, especially if you're single. Or if you are with someone else, maybe. This person is afraid of losing you. Desperate to be with you. We have a mission. Mirrors again. So this person definitely wants you to understand your own role, especially if you are twin flames, okay? They, feel, they, they want you to understand your role and they will play their own role. They want you to play your role here in this situation. Give them you know, authority or give them this, this yes or some type of a signal or tell them what you want. We also have this 50-50 stepping stone. So this person maybe want to go with the flow with you like baby steps. If it's like you're coming into union, there's a 50-50 here. I want to read that. What is this key points here? Yeah, artistic. This person is artistic. Definitely a water sign. Elements of water. They could be very emotional and sensitive about you. Again, there's a the dreams here. This person is watching Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You both could be water sign or you both could be earth sign. This person is very romantic for you. Oh, God. Things are fluid. This person really wants to go with the flow with you. This person could be living near the water or ocean, like on a beaches area. We have a stepping stone. This person really want to go. And we have the sun here, too. So something with a sunset or sun, um, sunrise. I'm saying sunset, okay? We have a fix the middle. Um, no, 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 not rise the time. Middle of the season, purpose driven, secure, confident, gets it done. Yeah, this person is very stubborn. Like, if they are fixed it on you, they are. I don't know why I'm getting Capricorn and Scorpio vibe here, though, from this reading. Okay, now let's see. So this person wants you to trust them, trust this connection. You could be retreating. Yeah, this person definitely want to go on some like some type of a vacation or places with you. Like they want to spend the time with you. Only you and them. I'm hearing only you and me. We have a wedding, so they, if this person is already married, they don't care. Like I told you, like they are ready to cheat. But it's all up to you, honey. It's all up to you, my viewer, if you want to do it or not. And if you already cheated, you know, like um, involved in a third party and it was a secret, they want to keep continuing it. This person heart to heart, convert, they want you to talk to them. They want you to like what you need. Tell me, I will give you. 
Let's see their next move. Yeah, the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. You could be seeing a lot of dragonflies. You could have a dragonfly tattoo or this person maybe. I'm hearing. This person really wants you to adopt and change and heal. This person wants to heal this uh, separation. If you're in a separation, they want to come back and want to again bring this change. If, if, if you are single and your person is single, they maybe want to marry you. They want to wife you up. Okay? Yeah. It could be. If it's not married men, because I married men or women, they want to marry you. They, with the Queen of Pentacles and wedding, they know that you're marriage material. They, want to, they don't want to lose you. For some of you, it could be a second marriage. Like, they don't care. But it, it is going to be a secret, let me tell you. There is a something secret here, private. It's like a secret. Hiding from the people, hiding from the society, hiding from their family, something like that. Yeah, we have a healing heart. So this person could be um, gone through separation maybe already. They could be, uh, they could divorce already. Or they are getting divorced, so they're trying to heal their heart. This person is watching you, watching your pictures. This person could be a photographer or you could be. Yeah, I'm getting a Scorpio vibe, to be honest. I'm not going to lie here, though. So let's see this person's channel messages. Like, what do they want to say? This person can't stay away from you. Like, with the devil, it's like they're very, very addicted to you. Like, this person can't wait to, you know, wife you up and mother you up with the moon card. It could be they're seeing you already as a mother of their child. you are very sexual energy here in this, in this pile. Let's see what this person want to say to you. Are their higher self? Like, you need to know about this uh, person messages. I hate that you're ignoring me. Okay, so some of you, this person hate that you're ignoring them. I never felt this way for anyone. You are the one. Yeah, this person does not care. Even though if they're with their wife or husband, they feel like you're the one. Because we have a two of cups and devil. Like it's very, there's something about your energy is like very, very um, obsession. Like they're addictive and obsessed with your energy. Or they're addictive and obsessed with your body if you were intimate or physical. I'm so nervous, hesitant to make a move. So some of you, if this person never tell you they're hesitant because they know that they're in a married, uh, they're in a third party and you, they know that you're going to reject them. I'm working on myself. Trust me, I'm doing this for us. Are you real? I'm confused about our connection. Does it really exist? I'm so in love with you. We also have, I fucking love you. I love you. Listen, I love you. I feel this person want to say, you, say to you like this. Let's see, I'm planning to be committed and getting married with you. Told you, there is a marriage here. This person is planning about a proposal, a marriage. Maybe they want to secretly planning like. Let's see when this person is going to contact you. Timing. We have a Saturday. Sun is here, so it could be when the Leo season is here. We have a eight days or eight weeks. We have the moon and sun, so compatible. There could be some type of eclipse happening on a sun. Like solar, I'm hearing, oh. I can't speak. Solar eclipse or lunar eclipse. Something on eclipse is happening. 18 days or 18 weeks or 18 months. We have a Pisces. So right now we are in a Pisces season. So maybe this person could be a Pisces. Okay. But I feel... Yeah, in Western astrology, we are we are ending a Pisces season. But in, in, in sidereal astrology, it is Vedic or sidereal. Uh, Pisces season is starting, so this person will approach you. But it could take 12, 12 um, days or 12 months too, or weeks for some of you. Let's see now um, from the charms. Okay, so from here we have a six of pentacles. Yeah, this person wants equal give and take. If this person is wealthy, like they want to take all your responsibility. We have an E, could be in their letter. Only E came up. Yeah, we have a two rings. Look, this person does not care if you will be this person's second wife or husband. This person want to commit to you, marry you, want to propose you. There's a lot of ring here. Look, and some of you, I told you, like they are already married. And you will be this person's second wife or second partner. Like they will propose you too. Something like that. I'm getting here, okay? If you're not into this, this is not your reading. We have this black, again, something with the Scorpio, releasing energy, negativity. It's all up to you because dragonfly is like adopt and change. So if you really want this person, you love this person, you feel this person love, you feel this person is genuine and authentic with you, they want to be with you, they love you, then it's all up to you. You need to you know, release all the negative energy and judgment of other people. 
It's all about you if you're happy with this person. Yeah, this person want to make you realize and make you feel like you're safe with them. Uh, we also have this hard hair. So one is big and one is, is definitely not equal give and take. So I feel like one person is more invested, other is not. So I don't know whatever your energy is. We have a thinking. So this person, you are on this person's mind. Like, oh God. We have this um, Ganesha, like it's an Indian, you know, something with an elephant. It's also about long journey. This person definitely see you as a long-term partnership. It's very spiritual connection though. Yeah, look at this. We have a uni unicorn or a horse here. So this person may be born into a horse here of China, Chinese. Um, a horse is a movement, it's a passion, it's attractiveness. This person is very attractive to you. Yeah, they want you to be kind with them, understand them. Pizza. Yeah, I'm hearing pizza date. Maybe this person want to definitely take you out for a date or food. This person maybe love pizza or something with a pizza here. Yeah, we have the heart again. So this person definitely have a feelings for you. Heart again with the angel wings. This person feel like they have a connection with you. Some type of a spiritual connection. We have the chair, but it's broken. Yeah, this person could have some type of a position or of authority or some type of repetition. The chair is broken. It's also talking about... For some of you, this person could be have, could have accident. You know, they... Yeah, they could have accident. Yeah, this person need to lose something. Like they... They feel like it's 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 something with their out of their control. That they can't do it. Okay, so that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you later. Bye. God bless you all.